Are you sick of being stuck between the super sugars like high fructose corn syrup and the toxic plastic sugars like aspartame? You might want to look into monk fruit sweetening. I found that it's the best alternative to high calorie processed sugars. Asia is where you'll find a whole industry around the monk fruit. It's harvested to produce a sweetener, but it's also well known to the culinary arts and folk medicine. It's recorded to have folk remedy benefits as an anti-asthmatic, antioxidant, anti-cancer, it's been found to reduce glucose in the blood, protects the liver, and aids in immune regulation. The FDA has done studies with natural sweeteners versus table sugar and artificial sweeteners like aspartame. When I looked into the study, I found something very interesting. I found that most of the alternative sweeteners won't produce a sugar spike right after their consumption and actually they cause the blood sugar levels to dip for hours until stimulated again by food. I found this portion of a video that helps me explain what I'm telling you about. And your blood sugar jump 40 points over the next hour. Whereas you give an aspartame sweetened beverage or monk fruit or stevia and nothing happens, which is what you'd expect, right? These are non-caloric sweeteners, no calories. Uh, it's just like you're drinking water, right? See what happens when you have a regular lunch, the caloric intake from the lunch hits your bloodstream and you have an artificial sweetener on board, you'll have a prolonged increase in blood sugar level, almost equal or greater than the spike level that you have with the high fructose corn syrup or table sugar when you consume those sweeteners. At the one hour mark, they fed people a regular lunch. And so the blood sugars went back up and down as they normally would after a meal, uh, not spiking as high as drinking straight sugar water, just a gentle up and down. Okay, but that was in the group that drank the sugar an hour before. In the group that drank the aspartame, even though their blood sugars didn't rise at the time, an hour later at lunch they shot up higher as if the person had just drank a bottle of soda. Okay, but what about the natural sweetener, stevia and monk fruit? Same thing, same exaggerated blood sugar spike to a regular meal taken an hour later. Even though in these three non-caloric sweetener groups, uh, they took in 16 spoonfuls less sugar. And I think what is happening is a natural sweetener like monk fruit that doesn't require as much chemical to get the effect will heighten your body's ability to draw sugar from the food that you consume. And I think that's a positive and natural response 